suggested amendments there too. And uh, the four deputies, Deputy Neve Smith, Deputy Claire Daly, Deputy Eugene Murphy and Deputy Anne Rabbit, have raised issues under the topical issue uh, um, standing order. I now, uh, um, Minister, you taking the number, number, number one and number three. Number one and number three. Uh, Deputy Neve Smith. You have four minutes. Thank you, Firstly, can I say I am disappointed and congratulations to you, Minister, in your new role, but I am disappointed that Minister Bruton isn't here himself uh, to answer the case on the Holy Family School, as it is one of serious concern. Minister, it really upsets me, as it does the families and the staff of the Holy Family School in Cushill and County Cavan, who are watching on in tonight's discussion, to be standing here yet again dis to discussing the construction, or the lack of construction as it is, at the Holy Family School. Minister, we need action, not excuse. 168 students with special needs from across Cavan and Monaghan are attending this school and is the only school of its type in the area and provides much needed education for pupils and students with disabilities and currently they are in substandard learning and working conditions. While the school continues to do exemplary work, it simply does not have the proper facilities or resources to cater for all of the pupils' critical needs. These students have everything stacked against them in life and it is simply not fair to expect them or their teachers or indeed their parents to continue to work in the current facility as it is in the Holy Family School. The project to provide additional permanent accommodation must be progressed without any further delays for the sake of the children, the parents and the staff. In 2015, the Department of Education and Skills gave the Holy Family School in Cootill full approval for funding. However, there have been many delays to the project and here we stand in 2017 and there is still no new school. I understand the school submitted the relevant documentation in relation to the Stage 2B submission to the Department in April, only to be notified five weeks later that it's not in the right order. Is this government seriously delaying the construction because the information that they require isn't in the preferred order? As part of the new build, the school and the prefabs will have to be moved to temporary accommodation and the site of which was secured in June of 2016. The Department of Education and Skills has been paying rent for that site for the last 12 months now and nothing has happened. Planning permission for the school was granted in 2013 and to this date it hasn't been able to proceed and if it continues like this we'll have to get an extension for the planning permission. Minister, children are suffering and their children, their health, their education, their health and safety is at risk each day and every day that the construction is postponed. Being the school, only school of its type in Cavan and Monaghan, the Holy Family School is and should be a high priority as it accommodates a significant number of students with disabilities. In September, the school will have 48 children with moderate disabilities, 13 with multiple disabilities, 39 with severe and profound disabilities and 68 with ASD. During the last 15 years, it has taken this long to get through the planning process. The school has seen increased numbers. This means trying to accommodate more pupils in already cramped conditions. In 2013, the school had 129 pupils enrolled, but now it's up to 168. The school has seen an increase of 11 staff in the same years. Despite this growth, however, the school facilities remain substandard condition and completely inadequate as an educational facility. The Holy Family School main building was opened in 1973 and it's really starting to show its age, Minister. There are leaks in many of the junior classrooms. The roof needs constantly being patched up and some of the ceilings are leaking. The walls are black, Minister. There are wooden lats holding up the ceiling. There is mould growing down the walls. The toilet and the bathing area and the plumbing system is creaking at the seams. Besides this, there are inadequate parking facilities, forcing the staff to park on the road outside the homes of the neighbouring houses, causing chaos. Minister, enough is enough. We need a commitment right here, right now, as to when you will guarantee work can commence and stop the bureaucratic nonsense of presenting files that are not in the preferred order. Thank you, uh, look and um, thank you, Deputy Smith. Minister Bruton sends his apologies. He just couldn't be in the chamber for this discussion. Um, but I'm happy to replace him because this is a subject close to my own heart. Um, 
um, of a few ex uh, members of my extended family who were in, in uh, similar schools in County Kilkenny. Um, he wants to thank you, Deputy, for raising the matter, and it, it provides an opportunity to outline the current position with regard to Holy Family Special School in Cootheel. Um, the school is a multi-denominational co-education special needs school which caters for pupils aged 4 to 18 years with moderate or profound learning difficulties and students with autism. And this project is included on the six-year programme announced on the 17th of November 2015 to go to tender and construction. The original brief was to provide a 21-classroom school. Following a meeting with the Department of Education and Skills in December 2015, the school and its design team were author authorised to increase the scale of the project to deliver a new 26 classroom school. On the 18th of November 2016, uh, the de design team submitted a stage to a addendum report to the Department for Review. The review was completed by the end of January 2017 and the Board of Management and its design team were authorised to complete stage 2B, development, developed uh, design stage. This stage includes obtaining planning permission, fire safety certification and disability access certification. Um, all statutory approvals have now been secured for the project. Construction will require the moving of the existing school to temporary accommodation on a nearby site. Uh, the moving will be an integral part of the school building project and will form part of the main contract. Planning permission for uh, it uh, for the moving accommodation uh, was secured in August 2016 uh, and the fire cert and disability access cert were subsequently secured and the Department has authorised the signing of a lease by the school to secure uh, the, the movement to the other site. Stage 2B detailed design report was recently submitted to the Department by the Board of Management and its design team. Following receipt of that submission, the Department authorised the Board of Management to, to instruct its design team to commence pre -qualification process, the pre-qualification process for the assessment of suitability, suitably qualified contractors to which uh, to develop the project can be tendered. Uh, this authorisation was granted by the Department in order to expedite the tender process for this project by running the pre-qualification in tandem uh, with the finalisation of Stage 2B. The design team has commenced this process and the closing date for the e-tenders advertisement was the 19th of June 2017. Following examination of the 2B uh, report, some additional items have been requested. Uh, I'm instructed here from, by the Department, not just in terms of the order in which they were put in, but additional items were requested. A revised submission has recently been received by the Department. Upon review of the revised uh, submission, the Department will revert to the Board of Management with regard to the, pro the further progression uh, of the project at that time. I, I, I take what you're presenting there, but really and truly, for any review to take five weeks and to be sent back to its board of management or its school, uh, I, I take your bona fides that it's more than just labelling. But I have read the document and the reply myself, and the main thrust of it is labelling and how it's presented, not that much about additional information. My concern is it takes another five weeks to decide whether it's right again or not. Because of the increasing numbers attending the Holy Family School, the school is bursting at the seams and now is located on two sites. The Holy Family School was built with seven classrooms, although we now have seven classes squeezed into the existing building, with five prefabs on the ground and seven, um, pre seven classes in the White Star. Minister? Minister, the White Star is actually formally a hostel. The hostel is on the main street in Cotill, far removed from the main building itself. It is just not fair that these classes or classrooms or these students would be asked to conduct classes and fulfil their education in a building that was formerly a hostel. In order to make the best of what is an extremely appalling situation, they now have converted the available space in the classrooms, such as their PE room, such as their small therapy rooms, have to be had to be converted to classrooms. Because of the necessary alterations in the school, there is no space for visiting therapists, not even space to give children time to have time out, which is a regular occurrence in a school like the Holy Family School. Apart from the main building itself, the senior school is, as I said, in rented accommodation on the main street in Cudhill, far away from the main building itself, formerly a hostel. And in September, there will be th seven classrooms housed over three storeys, with a total of 58 pupils and 22 staff crammed into every nook and cranny. These conditions are outrageous and appalling. The Holy Family School does not want to have to introduce waiting lists for the first time in its history. 
But seeing as the facilities are not able to accommodate all the children at present, we could have undesirable measures to be taken Thank in September ability. where they have to go on a waiting list. Thank you, Deputy. Look, um, I'm not going to, you obviously feel passionately about the issue, um, but I mean, I've been in this place for 15 years. This, is a, this answer to this topical issue is actually positive news in the sense that um, on the 28th of June, the revised submission was received by the Department. Um, you will have noted that the previous stage it did take six weeks for um, the request to be made. The average time, I'm told, is between 10 to 12 weeks. So it's moving faster in this case uh, than it does in, in, in the average case, uh, so to speak. In terms of the accommodation on the main street in Coot Hill, it's a town I know a little. Um, uh, obviously, it's a temporary measure until the building is constructed. Um, but at this stage... Well, it's pass up, it's fine, it's, it's, if it's, it's fire certified, which it is, and uh, it's got planning, and got planning, and got planning permission, um, that those are the, 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 the necessary requirements that it has to have. But it is a temporary um, uh, provision of accommodation until the school is built, and um, it's, this is progressing quite well. And I hope that certainly within shorter, I take your point about five weeks, with it, under the 10 to 12 week period, that there will be a positive response to the, uh, and I certainly bring the. The, no, the matter to the attention of Minister Bruton. Ah, yeah. I understand. Uh, the next item.